Well, it turns out that woke liberal SJW Disney has not learned from the kind of backlash they got for, uh, for their so-called Star Wars trilogy, which was really uh, lacking anything from Star Wars, anything related to Star Wars whatsoever. Just essentially a liberal SJW feminist ideology under the, you know, packaged as Star Wars. But, uh, you know, they overlooked the kind of fact that just the backlash they got. And in this case, they want to actually have more in the sequel trilogy. You know, the sequel trilogy, which really is nothing more than just fan fiction, in my personal opinion. I mean, it's been years since I last saw any Star Wars, since I've actually been in the theater in general. Uh, but to be honest, from what I've, I've seen from this, it, it lacks anything at all from Star Wars. I, I, I don't even call myself like a fan per se. I mean, this was a big part of my childhood, so it's kind of not really fun seeing my childhood get destroyed. But, you know, it's fun how they just don't get the fact that nobody, nobody apart from a few, you know, shills actually like their so-called Star Wars trilogy. In this case, they want to actually have more in this feminist SJW propaganda piece, uh, you know, to the dismay of actual fans. It says here on Inside the Magic, Disney wants more sequel trilogy stories. Star Wars director confirms the worst. It, don't, it was only a matter of time before fans returned to the sequel trilogy, and Lucasfilm might want to plunge fans back into that era sooner than most would hope. One Star Wars director confirms that more sequel trilogy stories are in the works. Yeah, see, they want to do this, but you see, do the fans want it? Well, the kind of backlash they got, it's safe to say no. And are there people who do like it? Yeah, sure, but they're an extreme minority. They're not the majority who think that this is, who don't really appreciate their childhood being destroyed and turned into feminist liberal propaganda by woke SJW Disney. Continuing on the article, it says, for some reason, Star Wars episode, uh, I think it was nine, The Rise of Skywalker, was the last Star Wars movie released in theaters. After being a commercial failure and uh, wounding the Star Wars fandom once again, Lucasfilm immediately reevaluated its content schedule. Instead of releasing another movie three years later, the company is reportedly terrified of disappointing fans once again, and the next possible Star Wars movie will likely release in theaters in 2025. Yeah, I think Disney kind of learned you know, supposedly should have learned their lesson on what happens when you try to pick a fight with the fandom, you know? Because it doesn't matter if you're a billion dollar company, the fans aren't stupid. They're not dumb, they're not just gonna pay for whatever. That was kind of seen in the backlash they got to this Star Wars hotel that lacked anything in Star Wars. See, they made a Star Wars hotel, but just forgot to add Star Wars to it. And they made a Star Wars trilogy, but just forgot to add Star Wars to it. That's, all, that's pretty much why. And another reason why I got so much backlash is the fact that they essentially have rewritten the hero's journey to where instead of, you know, struggling and having challenges and, you know, having uh, life lessons, the hero is now just basically perfect at everything. They've essentially just totally rewritten it, the hero's journey. But continuing on in the article, this means that fans will have six years without Star Wars on the big screen. While the movies under Disney have been hit a hit or miss, fans were hoping the next movie to release would focus on another era instead of the sequel trilogy. With Daisy Ridley still quite alive, race. Ray Skywalker's return is imminent. It would probably invoke more hate than anything else if Lucasfilm decided to make another trilogy around the controversial Star Wars heroine. Yeah, no kidding. You know, you, I mean, supposedly, like, they've learned from the backlash, you know, considering the fact that, the, the, what was it, um, The Last Jedi. I, I, didn't, I didn't see, so I saw the seventh one in theaters. I didn't see eight and nine, because at that point in my life, I was just kind of not really a huge fan. I kind of was just really not... At that point in my life, I just wasn't really in a, like in a happy place, so I kind of just wasn't in the mood to go out and do anything at that point. But man, I'm sure glad I actually didn't see this in theaters, because quite frankly, I, I would have had my eyes assaulted from what I'm hearing. But essentially, you know, they don't get it. You know, they don't get the fact that nobody likes the fact that they've just rewritten the hero's journey and essentially used this franchise that I've made so many, I mean, a big part of my childhood for sure, to just insert all their feminist liberal ideology. You know, and, and by the way, no attack. I'm not trying to like you know attack the actors because they just have to work with what they're given. I don't agree with this thing of harassing the actors. Okay, that's that's wrong too because you know they really have no control over it. It's just they have to work with what they're given. But you know, the character, yeah. It's just a bunch of garbage, but continuing on. Unfortunately, this might just happen, as John Favreau, the legendary director and creator of The Mandalorian, confirms that the company is openly discussing what to do with the sequel trilogy. He admits there are plenty of stories left to be told in that era, as the movies only covered a few years in the Star Wars timeline in a recent interview. Yeah, but the thing is, nobody wants to hear those stories, because nobody, really real fans, don't consider this actual Star Wars. I mean, a lot of them just say it's just, you know, Disney fan fiction. Which is, you know, a very accurate thing to say. Because they totally, totally lacks anything Star Wars. That's just the reality of it all. Um, you know. 
but then they're they're you know they're going to come out with this. It's going to obviously get more backlash, you know. And then what they're going to do is they're going to blame the fans and say, well, they're just racist, misogynist, you know, uh, homophobe, transphobe, you know, Islamophobe, anti-Semite, all these little stupid terms they like to throw at you when you you know say that hey, your film was garbage and lacks anything from Star Wars. And, I, and like I said, I'm not even a fan, but even I can see this totally just lacks anything, you know, anything. Essentially, it's just Star Wars in name only. But anyway, wanted to come out with that. Once again, another upcoming failure from woke liberal SJW Disney. So anyway, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.